last an hour we should be starting now it has been three and a half exciting and absolutely grueling months we started out with 20 investment clubs and tonight we are down to 10 clubs and it's been absolutely exciting for all these clubs but we're going to talk to some of them and find out how they feel about tonight and with me right now is agri kibbutz agri kibbutz from ntungamo how are you we are fine we are doing well how are you are you sure you're fine how are you yes i'm fine i'm doing well how do you feel about tonight uh we feel great we worked so hard for this we feel we are blessed to be here and we are hoping for the better now you have been if you win the top prize tonight what are you going to do with the money we are obviously going to set up our irrigation system so that we can start mass producing coffee especially clones okay yeah and what have been the biggest learnings for you this evening? Well, the biggest learnings have been teamwork. I've been uh, working with uh, diverse groups of people, people you don't know, people from all circles, and going out there and selling your dream. That has been big for us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. You have had it from Agri Kibbutz Investments all the way from Tungamo. They are pretty excited about tonight. They have big plans for the 30 million shillings if they actually get the top prize. And they have lots more in store. Good luck to you guys. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Can we do that again? We are not from Tungamo first. <laughs> <laughs> the, name, the name was a problem. Sorry, you're from Nagalama. Yeah. My bad. As you can see, I was thinking about the guys like who are way the other side. They are actually from Nagalama. And all the best. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. And who do I have here with me this evening? Ken James. Joel Omsumba Sachans. From Akuna Mucheso. From... Akuna Muchezo. Clearly, Mulabika, Temuliba, Muzanyo, Muliba, Miba, Bamani. Kati, Mulino already customer base, Eyabaza de Nava, Nabanji, Sicho. Mwaba is say, say, Mokuba voting Gilale, Okrabanga, Muvamu, Kungulu Mwangule. But she didn't know Robert Gaze is a rubber chose. Musu Bilanti Mugenda, Mugenda Chuangula, Tugenda Chuangula, one song. Nti teri muana no mu atasoma na uwo guzala agenda kusomero ye business jetwa londa nga yobuli mwezo babuli mwaka baji pula ningira inchane guru goji pula ningira fetuwe pula ningira yes we watch together chikuba kati chichi mu competition eno yo na imezi je mumazenga muri mukafubo kano chichi che musinze okuyigamu okolera wam okolera wam echo cho no buyia kwa tuize mu okubera creative Ichimbi yote tuundo tia. Echo kuvili fedha tu yise, fedha tu yize mu, mubutu fuwadi wao watu kanga ngovadi to solana kuhimi lida na wao. Ngoti yano gamanti ba nangi, mo nangi, mo nangu la kubita wao. Ngoti yoku yimi na nekati tu afunyo wao vumu. Ngoti yano tu kaku mnomga ma mo nangi, tu nde bita wao. Wendi ne wendi, chino wendi, wendi wendi wenye chikola. Blaba tu afunyo neba kasi mo ba lika sese, luanzonga tu bifunye wano, mwen muzine mpaka zetu kose. Kati ba muna wangu la sente zero whether muangu the top prize or second prize chechi na baula ko ku business eri ku Nasa street i have said ebisinga twagala okuongera ku mutindo nti ebintu bya fendu binga tubikolera wamu ate tukunganya na abantu bonna abakolera ebito mu machindye nga fe ababa twala ngeringa umbrella urense of for mazo kolerinya ku tv mazo tutegera kati bakoze safe okulabanga batunde ebintu byabo nechilala Tueta go kuba neliboni ye mawege no nga josa nga msupermarket na usingana sirio ye mawege yo. Nga woji isa au umanyanti chitapo. Chigula nkumi bili, oba nkumi satu. Gwe mutino gwe tueta go tuka ko. Nga mwogeda mteknoloji wa wagulu nyo. Kale sebo tu, tu katusubila nti muja kuita mu, mukolebio nabye murubi lido kola. Neha, musoke mumbuli le. Guno msononga si kutege debulu unji. Ne muli, eh muli ba muli embe nyo. Batu nyo nyo la ne batu gamba. Oku wangu le mpaka zino inakuwa muhia. Tuwa kwa zesabu wongo kuhia. Mwe mutu tunze na fetu ino kuwa tunda. Yeso nga tuwa alaze vye vye tukola. Inade tu, wana vino fetu vikola. Tuwa alaze vye tukola vye nyini nyini. Na feka tuwa dize. Tuwa la genti vandai mwe mtu gendo teka kumapu. Mwoge debulu njini. Yose nga chibade chiri jendi. Mwandi bade sente muzi wangu. Na neka tulinde tulabe. Mda chike staliza wala nyo. <laughs> Good evening gentlemen. Just tell us who, you, which club you're from. Kina Sako. Kina Kweku Lakura Nyasako, Treasurer, Mnyaneza Ronald. Okay, now Kina, you already have a real estate business, right? Yes. 
how much has the TV exposure done for you? So, so much. Because many people have seen us on TV. Uh, the, the past few days, we have been recruiting people in our circle after seeing us on TV. And men have been coming, men have been opting for our products, men have been opting for our services. Now, you talked about the fact that you want to start a hardware store. If you win the 30 million shillings, how soon will you be able to do that? Uh, soonest, because we wanted to start it uh, at the beginning of the year 2019. We wanted, because uh, the real estate business is running, people are paying their plots, and as soon as they finish paying their plots and others being paying, we want to start building immediately. Okay, and do you think you're taking the top or second or third prize tonight? I'm very sure you're taking the top most position. Just because we are doing a project that is not aiming at improving our livelihood only, but we are aiming at improving people's livelihood. Like I told you earlier, when you help the father or the mother, you've helped the children and all people in that household. So we are aiming at improving people's livelihood. It is a project that touches people's hearts. It improves their livelihood. And so you we are, are going to win. You are extremely passionate about it. I honestly wish and hope that you actually win. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Well, you've had it for, from some of the clubs so far. All of them are quite optimistic. And, well, we'll just have a few more minutes to know who's actually walking away with the prize money. And joining me right now is corporates, right? Thank you. Corporates. Now, you guys constantly kept your viewers on the edges of their seats with your charisma and humor. Muchkola yeah. Mutia. In brief. Uh, a, we just became natural. We tried to, uh, to do as much as we can in the way we could do it, uh, just as natural as the Bachiga can do and the Banyankori can do it. And uh, we reached the final. Hope we win the money also. Uh, if for some reason you don't walk away with the top prize, the 30 million shillings, which team do you think could match up to the corporate? Um, right now it is very hard for me to judge because all the 10 clubs were very, very active. So I think for me, we are the ones to take the money. I can't say maybe that club. I, I think we are the ones to take the money and we are ready to take it. That's a very, very safe answer. Now, we saw your people in the video do the Bachiga dance. Can you teach us how to, ah, how to do it? Very simple. Yeah, please. <laughs> okay, clearly I... <laughs> Clearly, I cannot do that. The <laughs> Bachiga physically fit, you know, and you know better. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think I have an idea of what the Bachiga are capable of. But all the best to you guys tonight, and I wish you all the best. <laughs> um, <laughs> quick question: What's in that little bag? <laughs> this bag is, uh, is my tool box. It contains my life. What do you want to tell us? Do you want to tell us what life is in that bag? Mm -hmm. mm, I will reveal the contents if I win South America. You win. You're, you're sure there are no charms inside there? No, there are no charms here, but God is inside here. Okay. I suppose yeah. God is really yeah. everywhere and wherever you want God to be. Yeah. So all the best. Okay. You just you. step yeah. off a bit. Yeah. And who do we have here right now? Right, social investment class. Elite Social Investment Club. Are you actually pharmacist? No. A businessman and women. Okay, you're businessmen and women. So between the battle for cash and pharmacy school, which of the two has kept you guys on your toes? Between the battle for cash and pharmacy What do you do? School. What does your club do? Uh, our club does a uh, pharmacy business. And the reason we are we got involved in pharmacy business is because the cost of healthcare is is high in Uganda, and we came in to support our community and ourselves uh, in that regard. Okay, and if you were to tell us the one lesson you learned from the competition, what would that be? Um, I think the competition going back uh, one uh, along the way. I think there is one thing that I took home. The issue of uh, the financial paralysis analysis from, um, I think, it, Judge Ronald Senkubege, uh, who happens to be my guild president, that um, before we decided as, uh, as a club, it's not, it's not easy to, to make decisions. So when he was um, talking about the issue of uh, clubs struggling with um, 
the financial paralysis analysis. I saw him talking to us a few a few months ago when we were deciding to, to start up a pharmacy because we had so many options and you know members will say but if we do this these are the risks and so you keep on wasting time. So I think uh, he was speaking to us in one way or the other and uh, moving forward I mean it drills uh, investment so that's one thing we, we picked uh, from the uh, competition. Okay, what word of advice would you have? Would you give to a, you, a young investment club that did not take part in the battle for cash? Uh, they, they need to leverage on their strengths within their group members. You realize some members are weak in certain areas, while others are strong in other areas. So, groups need to leverage on the strengths of its mem of their members. Finally, did you guys actually expect that you would make it to the top 10? Yeah, because we're elites. Well, they expected to make it to the top 10 because they are elites, like they say. All the best, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so these are the guys who had their fashion game on point the entire season. And as you can see, they have not disappointed us tonight. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Who's been your designer and who are you wearing tonight? Who's been your designer and who are you wearing tonight? Uh, I, I would say we're wearing ourselves. We design ourselves, basically. As youth, we look out for the best outfits. Okay, so who of you is a designer among you? Well, we're not really designers, but any youth out there, you know, we believe in first impression and your outlook portrays much more about you. What's been the impact of you guys appearing on TV the last couple of months? Well, it has managed to sell us out to the public. We have got numerous calls from business moguls who want to partner with us in the kind of business that we are doing. So we really appreciate that opportunity that NTV gave us. Okay, what do you expect to do with 30 million shillings if you emerge top tonight? Uh, well, uh, the 30 million shillings is just an addition to our capital, to the cage fish farming business. So yeah, basically inject it into cage fish farming. Okay, parting shots to young people out there who haven't started saving. What would you say to them? Well, to me, I would urge every youth out there that uh, single-handedly, you cannot really make that far in case you need to have financial independence or other financial growth. Other youth, there are lots of challenges that come about, but if you're in a group, you'll find that you learn a lot about financial discipline, and I urge everyone to get into an investment club. Okay, are you excited about tonight? Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling yeah, like you'll yeah, take the top prize? Yeah, 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 we are. Very excited. Very okay, good. all the best. All the best to you guys. Ladies, 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 you look absolutely stunning. And I see you're wearing a rising woman badge. You're clearly a rising woman. Now, you ladies absolutely inspired the audiences, particularly because you represent the women in uniform who do a lot for this country. How do you feel about tonight? We feel so great. We feel honored to be here tonight. And how have you managed to balance your duties as police women and the battle for cash competition? Uh, we have time. At times we don't have duty all the time. There are some times when we're a bit free and we manage to do this. We're very curious to know how many funders did you mobilize to vote for you? <laughs> mobilized over 2,000 funders to vote for us. So you're feeling optimistic about tonight? Yes, please. We are very optimistic. Now, after tonight, in the, in, in the event that you do not win, what are your plans? Our plans are we have projects which are moving on. We shall move on with what is, we have at hand. Very, very positive. Yes, very, very positive. Okay. All the best, and I truly hope you do win because you're doing this country proud. All the best. Thank you. All the best. <laughs> okay, so let me see who I have here. Mvara Ward Savings and Credit Association. You traveled over 498 kilometers for the battle for cash. Did you believe that you would make it this far? Yes, we, we know that we are going to be through because what we have done is enough for the whole county to see. And who do you think was your greatest competition among the club? Our greatest competition. What, what? Your greatest competitors among the clubs. Who, do you, who, who was giving you sleepless nights? Kinasako. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why was Kinasako giving you sleepless nights? Well, what they were doing, 
was not threatened at all, but for me, they were not a threat to us. We can make it. We're going to put them down. Very serious. That sounds very aggressive. What advice would you give to women investment clubs that are out there? How would you encourage them? I would encourage them to join this invest. Uh, uh, they should invest in DFCU Bank. They should open an account with DFCU so that they get a, a greater things like we are now. Okay, you guys are into beekeeping. Yes. Are you? You're not scared of bees? No. By the way, bees are good. They can give you injection. One malaria is out of you. <laughs> Clearly you are thick-skinned women and it looks like you just might be walking away with some money tonight But that's just my prediction. We will see in a short while. All the best. All the best tonight So joining me right now is It's okay. Don't be shy. I know I'm okay. short. Eh? Yeah. I cannot change my height. This, this yeah. is me. Yeah. So I have Oyster Club join me. Yes you gave the battle for cash a hundred percent. Which task got you out of your comfort zone? Um, the tourism one. Okay, why? Why? Because, okay, it is not our business. We are professionals, uh, engineers, lawyers who formed this investment club. So it was something we are not... Uh, we had not thought about it. But... We managed to sit down and put the task so that we can win the, the task. We tried to put down something. And okay, now you guys already have 200 acres of land, right? If you walk away with the 30 million shillings tonight, what are you going to do with it? There is a lot to do with this money. We still, have, uh, we still need seedlings to put in these acres. We still need clearing of land, so we still have a lot, including labor. Okay. You've said a lot of things that you need to do, but it's only 30 million shillings. So do you honestly think that that will add a lot of value for you in five years' time? Yes, because we are planting the trees in the phases. We have crop one, crop two, crop three, crop five. So in the, each crop, we require about like 60 million. So the 30 million will do something, and uh, which will add to the greater picture we have. And do you, how do you feel about tonight? Number one spot, number two, number three, which spot do you think you're likely to take? We got it. Number one. Well, I like the confidence. Yeah. Number one, all the best. Yes. All the best tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will be streaming the Battle for Cash Grand Finale live on the NTV YouTube channel. And you can also catch it on the Facebook Live. That's the DFCU Facebook page. But you can actually follow the conversation, tweet, retweet, send through your predictions tonight. The hashtag is Battle for Cash, fin Battle for Cash Finale and also Battle for Cash. That's the hashtag. We will also be giving away 100,000 shillings for 10 online fans who have the highest social media engagement. So make sure you tweet, you like, you send in your predictions and all of you will be winners tonight. Now we'd like to have, we'd like to talk to one of the judges that we had for the Battle for Cash season two. And this is Ronald Mukasa, who's joining me in a second. Hi, Ronald. Hi, Shana. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm very well. Now, Ronald, you are one of the judges in season one. You are a judge in season two. Tell us about the difference between season one and season two in terms of the contestants. Well, I think the battle is certainly getting tougher. The expectations are higher. The competition is heavy. And I think that's exciting for us as judges. So you feel that season two has been more competitive. The ideas are more diverse and more exciting. And I think we are celebrating investment clubs more this year. Is it safe for me to ask you for a prediction? No. <laughs> well, Ronald will not give us his prediction tonight, but any tips for, I mean, we have so many people who are struggling with how to actually save. And some people will tell you, I don't earn enough money to save. What would you say to such people? Well, I think for sure saving has never been simple. So you shouldn't approach it assuming it will be simple. It's tough, but it's worthwhile. So I think all of us need to know that if it's painful, then that is expected. It is not going to be a comfortable journey, but it's more painful if you don't save. So choose the pain which is simpler and the saving pain is simpler. 
And speaking of pain of saving, talk to us a little bit about group savings, which is what investment clubs are all about. How does that make saving a lot easier for people? Well, I think since we all have this pain of saving, when we come together, we can comfort one another, we can pull each other up. So when you come into a group, you discover that the struggles you're having, another colleague is having them, but they are overcoming them. So you meet someone who earns less than you, but saves more than you. Then you say, how can this happen? And as you talk to them, your saving habits can also improve. So ideally, when you're in a group, you can learn from others, you can encourage each other and grow, grow together. Okay, so there are people out there and they genuinely want to save and they've probably identified a couple of friends who also want to save. So there's the people with a common goal. How do they actually get started on this saving journey? Just before we go into the conversation on investment. Well, I think one thing for sure is uh, DFCU has put up a platform which works. The clubs, the structure, the support structure is there. So I think if you have a group of friends, approach any DFCU branch and go out there and say, we want to start saving together. And then we see how that goes. I think it's possible. Fantastic. Now we have people who are saving mm. and they're just keeping their money in the bank and they're not doing anything with the money. Mm. That doesn't sound right, is it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think uh, we all know that uh, it's not safe to just keep the money in the bank. It's a good place to keep the money, but you have to make sure that you're coming up with investments. And I think when it comes to investments, all of us start from the beginning, make baby steps. Even if it's as simple, saving is baby steps. Investing, the first investment may be as simple as saying, I want to buy a treasury bill, which is absolutely safe. But after you get over that one, you can be able to say, we, we, can, uh, we can buy land together. You can be able to say, we can get into real estate together. So I think wherever you are, Whichever step you make, as long as it is in the direction of investing more, investing better, it's a good step. And we shouldn't beat ourselves up so much that our investments are not returning as much because the investment journey is, is, a, learn, is a journey where you need to learn. So ultimately, we shouldn't be lost in how, how little the return is or how we lost money together. But we need to say, what have we learned from this and how can we move on to the next level? Thank you so much, Ronnie, and thank you for being one of the judges and dedicating your time to us. Thank you. Okay, and we'll see you shortly. So, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. You've actually heard from Judge Ronnie. It's never easy to save. You can never earn enough money to save. You don't need to go the journey alone when you can actually get like-minded people and save together. Group savings are a lot easier to do. And then, of course, once you've saved your money, it's not enough to keep the money in a pot or on the DFCU bank account. You need to actually watch your money grow by investing it. And DFCU has the DFCU Savings and Investment Clubs. Perfect way to watch your money grow and get started on a life of financial freedom. Once again, the hashtag tonight is bat hashtag battle for cash or battle for cash finale. And we will be streaming live on the NTV YouTube channel and on Facebook live shortly. We'll also be giving out a lot of money tonight for the highest, for the online fans with the highest engagement. So be sure to tweet. Make sure you insert those hashtags whenever you tweet. And who do I have with me here tonight? Hi, I'm uh, Daniel Mugenga. I was a uh, final, fi finalist judge. Finalist judge. Yes. What was your take? Well, there were very good ideas. Out of the 10, I had two favorites. I will personally be considering investing in them. So that's how, that's how good they were. They impressed me. Do you want to tell us who these were or not? <laughs> uh, okay, I am uh, probably not. Uh, yeah. Probably not. Yeah, just the I don't seem like I'm uh, seem biased. Okay, but at least, well, Judge Daniel spotted some two clubs that impressed him pretty much and he just might be considering investing in him. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there and you have an investment club and we run the Battle for Cash season, there's so many opportunities for you. Not only do you get to learn, but you also get to be spotted by potential investors, which is what all this is really about. What would you say to the other investment clubs that are out there and they're sort of lukewarm? Yeah. Okay, this, this is a good, even if you don't win, there's really good training over here. There's, um, you kind of get your idea panel beaten because sometimes if you're the entrepreneur, you have it in a certain way. When you have people critique your idea or see it from a different angle, it kind of helps you make it a better project. Now, Daniel, you have an investment club yourself. I do, yes. You're part of an investment club, yes, which is like one of the really good investment clubs, right? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> 
You don't have to be modest about it, Daniel. That's fine. How did you how did you get to where you are as a club? As a club. I think first of all you have to be like minded people. Number one. You uh, common goal, um, um, most like similar professions, people take things a bit seriously together, yeah. You can't be really yoked when you're you're different, yeah. So you have to be similar similar characteristics who takes things who take things really quite seriously. Okay, now there are some clubs out there and they're struggling with issues around commitment of members. How do you tackle that problem? Commitments we fine eh? and fine heavily. We actually enforce the findings. So it's important you must, that's why if you miss three installments, then you're out. Okay, let's look at investments. Of course, an investment club can have anywhere between 4 to 20, and I've seen some clubs with 100 people. I think that's a very large number, though. Yes, yes. But how do you deal with decision-making when your club is really large? Yes, you must pick a committee. A committee, if, uh, an odd number, three, five max. Yes. Okay, and what should, the, what should the composition of this committee be like? Yes, uh, first, of, first of all, um, uh, you just have to look at their backgrounds as well. Um, uh, they've been successful in what they have been doing, in their own decision making. So it's quite important that you pick people who are. So even if they make an, a choice that you, um, the rest don't agree to, you trust their decision based on their history. Now we have clubs that say, okay, we've raised uh, about 100 million, 200 million, and we want to go into real estate. But there's absolutely no one in that club that knows anything about real estate. What would you say to clubs like this? Well, you must find a, an expert. Uh, you must find an expert. Don't guess your way around. Don't. It's expensive to guess. Work with an expert who cost you just a bit, but it's worth it. Okay, thank you so much, Daniel. Yeah, thank you as well. Huh? And enjoy the night yeah, tonight. To win as well. <laughs> yes, thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the hashtag is Battle for Cash, Battle for Cash Finale. And like I said, we are giving away 100,000 shillings to 10 online funds with the highest engagement level. What that simply means is you need to send through your predictions, you need to like, you need to retweet. Just be engaged and let the conversation keep going. And if you're lucky, you will walk away 100,000 shillings richer tonight by just being online. Now, the show should be starting in just a short while and we will be streaming it live.